Hi guys, Dane and Biggie here as well. He's just about to do a jump. There we go. Nice jump, Biggs. Um, it is currently 10 past 3 in the morning of Tuesday the 18th of August. Um, I'm just cracking on with being productive really, getting some work done, getting some videos done. Currently reading The Bicentennial Man. I will probably go to bed soon uh, and have some cuddles with this little man. But yes, that's where we're at. in the linoleum I've got an ache inside it makes me a little mean and I got a woman she's okay she spends the night Spend the day watching TV, listening to the neighbors scream. It's funny how unhappy people can get, and how ugly to know they do is regret. Whatever wants a made him feel free Now she's a bird cage and he's a skeleton key Who could have on key pass by the sea That I got to quack it's a Hello! I'm watching uh, Luke Ash from Totally Pretentious do the reread book tag, which I did recently as well, which was fun. Biggie's just come here to say hello, because he likes to do that. You like to come say hello when I'm filming, don't you, Biggs? Come on, then. Come on. So, um, today, well, it's currently 5 to 8 on Tuesday. Uh, we've been brushing Biggie, so, look. Told you, we've been brushing him. So he's been molting a lot, haven't you, Biggs? But it's nice, because now you feel a lot softer and fluffier. Um, I finished reading uh, The Bicentennial Man by Isaac Asimov last night. I'm now reading King Lear, or as it's called in my version, The Madness of King Lear, which is the, I've got the lovely Folio Society edition that he's sitting on. It's that thing he's sitting on, isn't it, Biggs? 
so I can't show you the actual book. Uh, probably won't do a full review of it. It's okay so far though. Uh, I don't really have too much else to say. I did my walk earlier. Uh, as I say, I've been. Oh, I I got some seeds today for some multicolored roses, so I planted those in my garden. Um, and at the moment, I'm just cracking on with cracking on. I interviewed Jason's Weird Reads as well, actually, so he's going to be the next guest on my radio show. So that was good. So um, I'm going to pop that into the thing soon. Sorry, Biggs. I'm just trying to see how your clumps are. They're not too bad, are they? They've mostly come out. So um, yeah, Jason's going to be the next radio guest. This week's guest was Stephen Colgan. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think that's all I got for you. Mate, what's on my list of film? I think that's it. Hello. Um, busy, 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 as always. Oh, I've gone blurry again. It's been doing this a lot. There we go. I'm no longer blurry. Uh, I was at the art centre earlier, met the mayor, so that was cool. Um, been doing a lot of eBay stuff, a lot of sorting my house. I've got some new bits in the post for my garden today as well. Uh, it's currently 10 to midnight. Uh, my sleep is weird, so I haven't been awake for too long. So I'm just going to crack on with being productive. That is currently my plan. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, in terms of books, I finished reading down here. I finished reading The Tragedy of King Lear by William Shakespeare. I give it like 3.5 out of 5. It's not my favourite of his plays. Um, it's also kind of a, a little longer than some of the other ones, and so I don't think that really helped with it. Um, and also, I read it off the back of having just read Julius Caesar, which I'd been, really been looking forward to. So I'm not really surprised that I didn't love it. But it was okay. So there is that. Um, so I read that, and now I'm currently reading Bernice Bob's Her Hair by F. Scott Fitzgerald. So this is actually really good. I've already finished the title story of it, which was pretty good. I think I'm on like the third story in the collection now. Uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald's got just a really beautiful writing style, you know? I mean, sure there are areas that are problematic, um, but you get that with pretty much any author of his age, I suppose. But um, overall, the language is pretty beautiful and the stories are quite compelling, especially considering they kind of focus on like, like social life and socializing, which isn't something that I'd normally latch on to. Um, in a book in general, especially because it's like um, the social life of like New York in like the 30s and 40s and stuff, which is like a, you know, a world away from my own social life. But yeah, it's cool. I'm enjoying it. Hello, I have wet hair. Also, my eyes look a lot darker than I think they are. Who knows? Um, I'm going to take you outside quickly and show you the garden because it's the daytime. Uh, it's Saturday, it's Saturday morning. I don't know, about half nine ish. So this is the porch, so as you can see those are my supplies. So yeah, that's what the garden is currently looking like. Um, I'm reading, well I finished reading um, uh, the Harlequin tea set and other stories by Agatha Christie. I say I finished reading it, I basically just skimmed through and read bits that I wanted to read because it's a short story collection but it brings together a bunch of short stories from collections that I've already read so I, you know, I didn't have to reread it really. Um, and then I read The Seven Dials Mystery, well, while I'm reading it, I'm on page 80 and I'm enjoying it a lot so far. Um, the main character is like, well I wrote him, uh, I'm gonna write in my review like, uh, I kind of empathise with him and it's quite rare for me to empathise with the murder victim in an Agatha Christie play. Um, but in this instance, I did. And uh, part basically because he's like a young man, he's a little bit spoiled, uh, and he sleeps in late. And then we get this plot device where um, his friends decide to play a prank on him by putting a load of alarms beneath his bed and setting them all to go off. Uh, so, yeah, it gave me a good, uh, a good chuckle so far. Uh, and I'm about halfway through. Later on, like this... Well, in an hour, basically, I'm going to the art center for, um, it's the penultimate day of the exhibition. Um, I've also just been editing a little vlog of that, so that should be out soon as well. Um, but yeah, there's gonna be some live music and stuff, and I'm gonna be busy all day running the bar. Uh, so that's 10. Well, I'm going there half 11 till five. 
so should be good. Hello, it is, um, what day is it? Monday the 24th. I'm currently watching an hour long video on four eerie Titanic survivor interviews. It's very interesting from uh, Insanity Collection. And um, earlier I watched um, Steve Partridge's um, bonsai video. It was really fascinating. I don't really know anything about bonsai, but um, he did it in such a way that it was very approachable for newbies, I think. So I would definitely recommend checking that video out if you get the chance. And just his channel in general, to be honest. Um, I've just been having some food, so I made like couscous with hummus, um, vegan um, coleslaw that was on, a, it was a special offer, and um, then like Mediterranean vegetables with um, tempeh. I've also got some of these, they're amazing, Plant Kitchen Marshmallows from M&S, Marks and Spencers. Uh, they're £1.50 for a bag, so they're, it's basically the marshmallows I used to get were twice as expensive for a smaller bag so I'm pretty stoked that these have been released now so I bought three packs um, we finished doing the art center exhibition I'll actually be posting a vlog on my channel um, and we're launching like an art center YouTube as well so um, I'll link to that below be sure to check that out I've just pretty much just now finished reading uh, the seven dials mystery by Agatha Christie I think it was the second inspector battle novel it was actually quite interesting because um, like it refers back to uh, The Secret of Chimneys, which I've only recently read, which is the first one. So it was good that I actually read these in the right order, you know. Um, so I enjoyed those. Um, and I'm currently, I've just started reading As You Like It by William Shakespeare. But I have um, the Folio Society edition, it's really beautiful. But it also includes illustrations from um, like the last performance of it. Or a performance of it, um, and an introduction and stuff. And uh, yeah, the illustrations are done by Salvador Dali. So, um, and the and the, the introduction kind of goes into why that is. Um, so I've tabbed a few bits out, and I might do a full review. It depends if I have much to say about the play, but I do have quite a lot to say about the introduction. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I finished the art center. Uh, oh yeah, so I was talking about the art center. I finished the art. The exhibition's over now, and uh, so I'm going back there tomorrow to. We're talking about plan for some funding, and obviously because I write, I will be. I'm sure I'll end up writing a funding application. Um, but that'll be an interesting learning curve anyway, um, professionally, I guess. And um, then we also have to, we're meeting up at about five to take down what's left of, um, you know, the exhibition and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, uh, all good. Did so, there was some live music and stuff. It's just been a good time in general. Uh, oh, and I got some Agatha Christie books in the post today. And I think that's it now I don't think I've got any more books coming but anyway sorry I'm just playing with my sock for no apparent reason so I think that's all I've got for you for this week's vlog so as always thanks a lot for watching don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video uh, let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so what you thought of them hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot bye bye